Hey guys, I'm Evan. And I'm Ashley. And, and together, together we, we are Fam Jam, Jam Fish. In this video, we're going to be talking about meal prepping and how you can save a lot of money every year by planning out your meals. Eating at home and meal prepping is also healthier because you know who's cooking the food, what is going in it, and you can control the portion size. And you can control that like button <laughs> right down below. Let us know in the comments below if you like this new animation style and make sure you watch until the end to see recommendations for your meal planning. Let's create a scenario between two friends. Meet London the Saver and Brooklyn the Spender. Brooklyn and London both work at Google.com and are 18 years old. They plan to work here until they retire. In our example, 18-year-old Brooklyn decides that he wants to eat out during his lunch break. He goes to his favorite restaurant every day for lunch and spends $8 eating two slices of pepperoni pizza, some fries, and a Coke. Meanwhile, 18-year-old London brings his lunch to work with him. He brings a turkey sandwich, an apple, and a cup of water. He grocery shops once a week and has an average lunch cost of $2.50. London knows that his friend Brooklyn goes to his favorite pizza store, ironically named Brooklyn Pizza, every day for lunch. Over the course of the year, London calculates that Brooklyn spends $2,080 on lunch. One day, London gets an idea. He considers that he saves $5.50 per meal compared to Brooklyn, which he calculates to be a $1,430 annual savings. London decides that he wants to invest his lunchtime savings in the stock market, and he hopes to earn an average annualized return of 7% in the long run. Time goes by and London and Brooklyn work together for 45 years and retire at the age of 63. Over the course of the 45 years, London invested his lunchtime savings every month and now has $422,037 saved just from not eating out for lunch. If London was fortunate enough that the stock market earned him a 10% return, he would have a cool $1,171,973. Brooklyn, on the other hand, has zero dollars, but at least he got to eat his favorite pizza. Meal planning will definitely save you a couple thousand dollars a year. We try to limit eating out to once a week. When sticking to your meal plan and making meals ahead of time, you'll find that you won't be pressured to go out and eat at a restaurant when meals are already ready in your fridge. This week, Ashley planned ahead and she made us spinach tomato feta egg cups. Those were delicious for breakfast. She also planned ahead and made cornflake ranch grilled chicken, which was outstanding for dinner. These are just a few recipes that we use on a regular basis that save us a lot of money compared to going out and eating at restaurants. If you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and, and hustle, hustle on! on.